Hello and welcome to Back to the Port. I'm the Galloping Major and this is a continuation of our series of Let's Play and Review of British Destroyers. We're playing in the Tier 3 HMS Wakeful. Now we spawned in the middle of the ring, a game of capture of the base. I'm moving over to the right flank because I've identified that we're lacking a destroyer over there. Now HMS Wakeful is quite an interesting ship. Survivability, I'd say she comes about mid-table. Artillery wise, she comes with four four inch guns and they have quite a reasonable range. I think what's some of the longest range at her tier. So she's definitely more guns on. However, they're the same calibre guns that we get in the Valkyrie. Torpedoes, one up to six torpedoes, two launchers firing three torpedoes. So definitely a step up from the um, Valkyrie. AA defence, well we can skip that for now. Maneuverability. She's got one of the fastest base speeds for her tier, however she doesn't come with engine boost like the rest of them. Also this is where we start to get that British maneuverability where we can really snake it backwards and forwards and you really get the, the rudder digs in hard very quickly, which is always very nice for getting out of those sticky situations. Now we see that both the destroyers are over here and the V-170 needs a good shooting. Not always we use that rudder as much as you can. If someone starts shooting you, you want to start moving, you want to make it harder for them to get hits on you. He's moving away, so he's obviously realised he's overextended himself. Anyway, concealment. You're not the best, but you're not the worst of the tier. You're very mid. But with your torpedoes not really getting drastically better. Oh, I'm going under fire. But that Clemson is weak. Nice. Yeah, so um, cons uh, with your concealment, you can't really stealth torpedo. I mean, once my detectability is dropped in, I might be able to show. Yeah, here we go. So you haven't got much of a bubble you can see between your concealment and your torpedo maximum range. So it's a lot harder to stealth torpedo with the wakeful. I think that's probably why they've given her such a better, longer gun range. It means you can. You're more of a gunboat at this tier. The only things you're going to be worried about are going to be American um, destroyers. So it looks like we've mopped up the right flank. And we've got a cruiser and a battleship pushing over. Both their destroyers are dead. So it's time for me to try and like make a push. See if I can get some torpedoes out. Now there's two plays here. I can try and like deny the middle. Or I could push right out to the right flank. But I think with my speed... I can do a bit of both. I can always, I've still got time to bail out and pop over there if I need to. What I really want is just to see if one of these cruisers is going to make a little mistake. I mean, try to see if I can back up this Danae. It looks like our left flank is a little bit vacant. What's their health like? But their health's quite good. So they're, they're just in a um, bit of a, what do you say, shit slinging fest? Between with their battleships, I mean, plausibly, I could maybe go over to that flank. Now detected. So let's put one there, one there, and do some over here, and just deny any turns. And then we might as well just get our guns in as well because we're detected. Got a fire on him. Now I wonder if I can tease that Kuma out. I think that Danae is going to spot him. Might just ask for that Danae's help. There we go, that's how you use the uh, control wheel to ask for help. Now I'm suspecting that Kuma's going to get torps out as well. So I'm going to keep reversing my smoke screen, something that we covered in the Valkyrie video. Just keep moving, just to make sure that we don't, not in the same spot all the time. Now we're getting to about the last couple of seconds of smoke, so I'm going to crank it all the way forwards in full speed. And we should be alright if we get to the next puff of smoke. Might be able to get one more volley out. And there's, we're down to three seconds, so we're going to hold off firing now. We're detected, but we're not too, there we go, we just dropped off. So, Kuma got that Omaha. Oh, I called it a Danae early day, didn't I? 
Right, so the enemy team seems to have got the advantage slightly. And I'm going to potato into an island. Their team's huddled up at the back and is they therefore able to concentrate fire on a single target at a time. I want to help, so I'm going to have to open up fire on this Kuma. Now this is going to be quite difficult to lead the shots, but oh, we got one there. Let's see if we can swing those rear guns around. Very hard to lead the shots at this distance, especially with them sailing away and at an angle. Let's see what they got left. They got an Iwaki, a Kuma, a Corbett, a Wyoming. I mean, if we can help get rid of this cruiser. Now he started firing at me, so I got to also make throw some shapes here. Now he's only firing the one gun. Whereas I managed to get all four on target. Just got to be able to get a hit on him. Wacky's weak. So is that Kuma. Really need that Kuma gone. If I could start a fire, that'd be great. He's gone. The Iwaki's gone as well, though. This is rather strange now. Engage in something that should easily win the fight against me if he got close. Now he's trying to disengage, now he's firing so I'm going to turn, see if I can dodge most of these shots. There we go. Got a fire. That could be good. What we got? Iron Duke? What was on the other flank? A Wyoming? If we can get rid of this Kuma, there might be a chance that I can do some stealth torpedoes. I'm assuming that Kuma's going quite fast. Problem is, I'm going to come under fire from battleships as well. So here we are, by keeping moving you're making it very difficult. Now, he's just put a fire out recently so I'm going to pop a smoke, I'm going to put that fire out, I'm going to disappear. And let that Kuma burn to death. Fingers crossed he does burn to death. Now, my engine's still actually quite operational because I use Philip Vane. Um, his base trait, I can't remember what it's called, but it basically reduces the impact of um, engine and rudder damage. This basically means that you're able to maintain a decent amount of acceleration and... In I do not want to go forward into that. He's not in range. He's not in range. He's not in range. Any of these coming into I might try and single out the Wyoming or the Iron Duke. Whether the Corbett's going to buy the bait or not, I don't know. There we go, there's a fire. Now I find those of maximum range, and he's making a turn, so he should be alright to dodge. But he's put my fire out, so if I can get another fire... Oh, I might get a torp here. Nice, he's flooded, that's it, he's gone. Don't have to worry about him anymore. Because he'll flood to death quite easily. Got three hits. And you just see that damage raking up in the top corner. 
Now that Wyoming should pop up somewhere. The Cobra is dead. He should be dead. There we go. Flood is dead. Acknowledged. Thank you. There's the Wyoming. Now if he continues to nose towards me. I want to know where that Kuma went. Has he gone at the I mean the Iron Duke's there? I might just see if I can. No, with the Wakeful, her torpedo range is so like short in comparison to her detectability range. So you almost have to just turn away and get your torpedoes out at the same time to make sure you don't get detected. Now you can pop a smoke screen, but if someone's got their eye on the ball and they see a smoke screen, they know there's a destroyer in the area and it's probably launched torps. Now I'm going to move back over here and see if I can keep eyes behind Duke's going through the middle. Those torpedoes look on target. If they hit, that'd be so nice. I don't think I can help him much more. He should be alright. I've got to go hunt this Iron Duke. Because that Iron Duke's going to pop up in the middle there. And he's got to pick a side of the iron to go around to capture the base. That's what he's going for. So we've got torpedoes back. We've lost visibility on the Iron Duke. Now I don't want to go much, forward, much further forward or else I'll get detected if he comes around the corner. The Kuma's finally gone. Nice. So we brought this back from the brink. Looking for the Iron Duke. He's the only thing that's possibly going to capture the base. And I haven't seen him yet. Now I see him. Just in case he does continue up here. Now i got to get away from him. No, I can't do much, so I might as well pop a smoke screen. Actually, I'm going to use the smoke screen to try and get away. Got plenty of smoke screens. I'm going to round this island, I think. Now, if that Iron Duke was clever, he should turn to his port side. That way he'd dodge pretty much all those torpedoes. I think he did. Or he may have put the brakes on. Nice. So I'm just going to try and keep him detected. The longer I keep him detected, the more likely one of these battleships might be able to chip in. Let's get some torps out. Now I don't want to contest the base, unless he definitely knows that I'm very close. I want him to think that maybe I'm behind him or something like that. And then hopefully I can get some of these torques on target. Now I did a bit of a trail behind from where he should be because I'm assuming, there we go, I'm assuming he's going to slow down. So let's see how these kick in. Has he seen them? Not sure. He definitely got wind of it. Well, my smoke screen's gonna last, so I think I might just go contest the base. Now see, it's gonna take three seconds to get there, so I'm fine now. And there we go. Nice little game. Hmm. 
Nice little owner there. Second on the team overall. Well, that was HMS Wakeful, the tier 3 British destroyer, in our how to slash review. I'm the Gallop Major, and back to the port.